11 o'clock this morning. The sun shining on a revved up crowd who are finally getting on site at Parachute 08. 30,000 people are expected through the gates this year and they're ready to rock. I've been about six times. Just awesome atmosphere. I love God and I love the atmosphere. Worshipping at night on main stage, it's awesome. What about the bands? Oh, yeah, Red, Switchfoot, Late Ladies, Mercedes are pretty mean. And I've come to see O2, they're a dance team. Red, Jones Eater, Arms Reach, Mums Dollar, Switchfoot. Red. Uh, red. Yeah, very, very good. Raptor Ruckus. Raptor Ruckus, yeah. Yeah. Red. Cool. yeah. I've been for the last three years yeah. and I just love it, eh? Such an awesome atmosphere, Christian mates, and it's just so yeah. awesome, eh? Mm, and I love the bands this year. Yeah. Definitely a lot has changed. Um, I think someone said last night at the crew, night that the numbers at the crew night are double what we had at, at the first festival in terms of people attending so it's certainly come a long way in the 17 years. Brendan Vucic is Parachute's A&R manager, one of the small team that put the festival together. He says what makes Parachute special is more than just the music. Definitely the atmosphere. I, I think um, people coming together um, maybe under a common purpose or um, just wanting to have a, a fantastic time. Um, just the, the energy and the atmosphere that, that comes, I think, is um, it, it seems like there's some common purpose, I guess. And so, Particularly this year as a staff, we've noticed, um, I think, having a lot of the media partners on board and just the, the words got out and, and definitely there's a, there's a real good buzz um, about this year's festival. So. so how much work goes into organising a festival like this? Um, needless to say, a lot. Yeah, a lot. We have um, a huge core of um, volunteers um, we have volunteers from at executive level right down to um, you know, uh, teams that are made up of volunteers. So, you know, and then we have the full-time staff. So, you know, you put 12 months of work into a, an event like this. So, yeah. From the moment you arrive at the Mystery Creek site in Hamilton, you can't help but be struck by the massive organisation involved in providing entertainment for 30,000 people, with 170 bands performing on nine separate stages. And that doesn't include top flight international speakers like Tony Campolo and Reggie Dobbs. The crowds waiting to enter the site and get a good place to pitch their tents are testament to how much needs to be done. We build up to it as a staff. We um, spend a lot of time um, just talking about what we want to see achieved and that sort of thing. So, no, I think for us, by the time we get here, um, we're ready to go. We're ready to see sort of all the plans come in, you know, into action and, and see it unfold. So, yeah. What do you see as, as the aim of Parachute? What, what do you want to achieve? Um, essentially, we, I mean, we look to provide a, a positive, safe environment. Um, we obviously um, promote Christian music, so um, the messages that are behind um, the music that's played and the speakers that come, it's a Christian message, so um, we really want to promote that message um, around the country and around the world, you know, that's what we hope to do. So tell me about some of the bands you've got this year. Um, I guess you have to start at the top with um, the big one, Switchfoot. Um, we've been trying for a number of years now to get them and we've finally got them and after seeing them in concert in Auckland, I'm, I just think it's going to be, we're in for an amazing time. Um, we've also got Israel Halton and New Breed. Um, they're a 12 piece brand, band out of the States, and again, they're supposed to be an amazing um, worship act, so looking forward to seeing them. Nashville band Red, which they're a heavy rock band. Um, Joan Zetta, the, the latest indie rock band out of the States. Um, we've got Hillsong United leading us in worship on Sunday night. Lee Nash um, from Sixpence on the Ripshire. Um, there's just so many and then you've got the local bands, you've got Parachute Band um, in the new lineup, so it's going to be exciting to see um, them you know, for the first time in the place where it all started. Um, uh, we've got Addies, we've got Specifics, um, we've got a band called All Left Out, Trigger Theory who won our wildcard comp, I mean the list goes on, 170 bands you've, as you probably know, so um, it's a big program. put 12 months of planning into um, to, to the program and to see it come together and unfold is it's really cool. We look to partner with organisations that have um, a common cause and a lot of those um, are charity or you know um, looking after the poor and that sort of thing. We obviously have World Vision involved um, and a number of other similar organisations um, and so yeah we re really try to um, create a palette of you know something for everyone. Um, and you know, through to rides and super loops and 
there's all sorts of activities and things to, to, to capture your interest. So. How much sleep are you going to get over the next four nights? I don't know, probably not much. <laughs> probably not much, but I mean, you know, you just sort of go on the energy that's here and, you know, it's only three or four days once a year, so just have fun and get in there. Yeah, yeah.